ايوه جالوب بقى جالوب جالوب وتيجي تاني على الكافاليتي والتروت ولاتهم ريلي لوسن اب ايوه كده Equestrian sports, after being prominent in Egypt since the monarchy, is now struggling for survival and facing its challenges. Uh, it's, it's all about the sponsorship. It's a very expensive sport, so usually it needs a lot of money to be able to continue in the top sport and to be able to go to championships and Olympics. The sport of the rich, as known by some, has become too expensive for some riders to afford alone. الخيل دلوقتي وصلت علشان حصان يلعب في ال... في ينزل بطولات دوليه واولمبيك جيمز وكده هوت بنتكلم اقل حاجه يعني بنتكلم في نص مليون يورو يعني تو ستارت كومبيت بيوصلوا لغايه 10 مليون وكده هوت واحنا طبعا هنا هوت اللي بيشتري في مصر بيشتري مثلا اللي بيبقى شاري حصان ب 20 30 الف يورو دافع 300 400 الف جنيه which is a lot of money for our country or our people يعني فما ينفعش حتى بره يعني كل اللي بيلعبوا الرياضه في التوب سبورت بيبقى عندهم سبونسرز ما فيش حد بيلعب الرياضه لوحده lack of sponsorships is not the only problem the sport faces since 2010 when the international federation fei banned importing any horses from africa depriving champions from competing with their horses abroad until vet measures to control contagious equine diseases in Egypt comply with EU standards, which shed light on the equine vet care quality available in Egypt. There is a big gap between what is available in Egypt and internationally. Not all things we need to find in the right time. Not all the drugs can be available in the right time. We need to find the right time. الحاجه اللي احنا محتاجينها من بره مش سهل نعمل اكس رايز ف يعني اتس ذا بيزك ثينج مش حاجه واو اي كان lack of vet care facilities attention and awareness are challenges that face equestrian champions trainers and breeders causing financial and practical losses this is rana ashraf for AUC TV.